Yo, what is going on, Jerron Mob? Welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Show. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got an excellent episode lined up for tonight. We got a ton of Kobe 5 Pro Tro news. Nike went all out this past week announcing some new colorways, dropping some release dates and some other great information about, you know, how they're handling the whole return of the Kobe Bryant signature line as well as Kobe products. Now, we also have two brand new signature sneakers, one leak and one official debut. So that's very exciting as well. And we also have just a lot of great sneakers. I mean, sneakers that might not have a ton of hype on it, but will be dropping in the coming months or weeks. Some upcoming sneaker release dates that I'm personally, you know, as I was, you know, grabbing topics for tonight's episode, I was like, wow, those are dope. Those are dope. So I'm thinking we're going to get a lot of cops in the chat. Remember, be ready to put cop or drop in the chat with the mob. We appreciate you. And if you haven't already, you know, subscribe to the channel, join the discord with the link in the description box below. The discord's a lot of fun. A lot of the times the discord does my job for me. They, they were on the Kyrie seven way before I put it in the discord. So make sure you join the discord so you can get the latest and the greatest of sneaker news and just be a part of that community. It's a lot of fun. And of course you'll be updated everything going on here in the channel. Like Whenever I'm streaming on Twitch, which is a new thing, shout out to David in the chat. I know he was on the last Twitch stream, so I appreciate you joining us on the sneaker show. Let's just get straight to the first topic, guys, which obviously is the Kobe stuff. So here we see, via Kicks on Fire, Nike honors Kobe Bryant's legacy with Mamba Week, as well as a Kobe 5 Pro Tro lineup. Now take a look at this photo. We could see one, two, three, four. Five colorways of the Kobe Fives. There are a few more colorways that we're going to touch on. One that you might have seen and one that you might not have seen as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. But then we could see the two jerseys. Or is it one jersey? Does it say 8 on the front and 24 on the back? Or is there an 8 version and a 24 version? Either way, we know that this is the Mamba-inspired Lakers jersey. Which I think is dope. It's, it's a killer jersey, but... We didn't get to see Kobe playing it, so it would be different if Kobe played in this, right? I would definitely already have this in my collection. A shout out to Happy Cat Kid for joining the mob. I appreciate you. Yeah, if Kobe played in this jersey, I'd already have it in my collection. But since he didn't, you know, I'm just not really pressed to, to cop it. But, you know, I do wish I had a Kyle Kuzma one of this because Kyle Kuzma is probably my favorite Laker right now, and he did wear these. But anyways, they're bringing back to Kobe one. That's good news. But I know what you guys came here for. It's the sneakers. Now, here's another look at them. Now, we did talk about, I believe, this colorway here, the big stage. This Lakers colorway. Shout out to Just Kaz or Just Kazim for joining the mob. I appreciate you. And we also talked about this EYBL colorway over here on the end. These two in the middle are brand new. Now, this is an undefeated collab, and we're going to touch on those. But uh, here's the jersey again. Now, let's go here. Kobe 5 Pro Show Big Stage. Now, this is the colorway that I think we're most excited about, right? Let me know in the chat right now if it's a cop or a job. Because for me, it's an Instacop. Yes, sir. I'm going to have not just myself, my girlfriend, Camera Bray, her cousin, her brother. Shout out to, what is that, Josh Kobe? What a name. Thanks for joining the sneaker show. I appreciate you. I'm going to have so many people on their phone trying to cop a size 10 or 10 and a half Probably a ten and a half. Shout out to your boy Go for following. Thanks for joining the sneaker show. I appreciate you. Trying to cop these. I'm I'm all hands on deck. They know. I know. You guys know. It's an insta cop. To me, this is the best. Shout out to Pinky Toe. This is the best colorway of the Kobe Five, possibly ever. Yes, yes. I definitely said that. I know. Wow. Wow to a lot of you guys, but this is just such a beautiful colorway. It's. Not strictly a Lakers colorway, but there's just enough white, black, and gold to make it, you know, possible that he could have wore these with a Lakers jersey on. And I know we didn't see Kobe wear this particular colorway. Shout out to Paul for subscribing. Thanks for joining the Sneaker Show. But it, it, we did see him rock a similar colorway to this with an inverted graphic, I believe. And it was unreleased, I think. But Kobe did technically wear this. Shout out to Randy. Thanks for joining the mob. 
But this is the best colorway. Love the two-tone look. On the left shoe, you have the graphic on the lateral side. On the right shoe, it's right here on the medial side. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. These are dropping August 23rd for $180. Shout out to Sauce Raj for subscribing. I appreciate you. You know, $180 is a lot. That's not what Jacoby 5 originally dropped for. Um, am I a little hurt by that? A little bit. Shout out to Super Cam Bob. I don't know. It's like Nike's going to do what they're going to do. And you're going to pay for the nostalgia anyway. So whatever. Look at that outsole. Milky, translucent bottom. I mean, this is just an absolutely beautiful colorway. I'm seeing a ton of mega cops. Shout out to Jude for subscribing. Listen, Mega Cops, it, it, it's, it's not Mega Cop. We have Mega Drop, we have Drop, we have Cop, and we also have Insta Cop. So be sure, guys, do you want me to change it to Mega Drop? Because I will. But for now, it's Insta Cop. Hey, shout out to uh, Super Cambot for subscribing if I didn't say that already. But yes, August 23rd. All hands on deck. I'm seeing a ton of Mega Cops. I don't see a single drop in the chat. So I think the mob is aligned on this one. Now, just a quick information. The Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro Big Stage celebrates the 10-year anniversary of Kobe's fifth championship. My personal uh, favorite championship. The Big Stage colorway returns in Pro Tro version while being updated with new tattoo-style detailing of Kobe Bryant's achievement from the 09-10 season. That's awesome. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo like this, guys. So stay tuned for that. I might get this graphic on my body because I was already thinking about getting a Kobe tattoo. My family knows this. It, it, the, it was in the works. So this might have just cemented the design that I, I'm thinking about going for. And if you take a look here on the medial side where it's wide out, you can still see the graphic, which is just, again, an absolutely beautiful look. Now, the next one. We have the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Show five-time champ. We saw AD wear these on NBA Kicks. We're getting a lot of subscribers. That's what I like to see. Thanks for joining the mob, everybody. Uh, these drop a day later, August 24th, for buck eighty. I like these, but not as much. I'm going to be honest. They kind of remind me of those fake Chinese Kobe's that we used to see way back in the day. But it's legit. It's from Nike. It's confirmed. I can confirm it's legit. It's solid. It's I mean, it's you got purple. You got uh, like it's not gold. It's like a dark yellow. And then you have black. You have the slightly tinted blue translucent outsole, white midsole, silvery or grayish logos. I mean, it's OK. It's not my favorite out of the three upcoming colorways, the big stages, which we saw these as well as the EYBLs. I think these are going to be last for me. But um, let me know what you guys think. I'm seeing a lot of cops in the chat as well. And that's the thing. I mean, Mikel in the chat says drop for these. And I'm going to go ahead and drop these. And I'm going to touch on why I'm going to drop this colorway in a little bit. But I just want to address everyone who's saying cop in these. I think you guys are saying cop because it's a Kobe sneaker. And you want anything to do with Kobe because we know what happened. You miss him. I miss him too. So it makes sense that you're going to cop whatever you can cop. But I'm going to drop these, and I will tell you why after we get through these next colorways. But again, remember, August 24th for this particular colorway. So if you want these, be on the lookout. Make sure you do all good luck. Get good karma for luck on the sneakers app. I will say that inner lining, that all-star inner lining, is pretty dope. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, here we have... Uh, let's touch on this last, since this is the new colorway. Real quickly, EYBL, August 29th. Okay, $180. I like these two. I actually like this. I think it's a unique looking colorway. I would play basketball in this. The big stages I would keep in my collection. Keep them dead stock. Maybe customize them just a little bit with my guy JD the Painter. Or maybe Melon Kicks. Who knows? I think I might do that. I might just keep that as a piece of memorabilia. But this I would actually play in. I like the colorway. I like the switch up of not materials. But the I mean a little bit on the tongue. But it just looks like. A different version of the Kobe 5s. You don't see these type of colors used very often on sneakers these days. So I like that uniqueness of it. So this, to me, is a cop, okay? I'm seeing more drops for this colorway than the other two colorways, which is interesting. I think this is my second favorite colorway out of the three that we've talked about today. But yeah, it's pretty clean. EYBL, I like them. It's a cop for me. Now, let's go back up. We got the undefeated What If Pack 
August 27th. And let me tell you, woo-wee! Yo, these are clean. I'm going to tell you right now, everybody, can we spam Mamba Forever in the chat for this amazing collaboration with Undefeated. We know Undefeated brings the heat when they're doing collabs, no matter what silhouette it's on, but they came absolutely correct with the Kobe's here. First up, we got this. I don't even know what to call this. It's it's a bunch of colors. You got black, red, gold, blue, green. You know, it's everywhere. It's clean, white midsole, slightly tinted blue translucent outsole. And then over here on the right, we have a more simple white and gold colorway with some hints of blue. It's just absolutely beautiful. And we're getting a ton of Mamba Forevers in the chat. That's what I like to see. Thank you so much, Mob. But look at these. Oh, my God. Now, I'm not a fan of this exposed stitching here. It just looks like it's not supposed to be there. But that's just me. Okay, it just looks like it's not as clean or refined. I would have liked to seen the stitching cleaned up a bit. But look at that Kobe 6-esque, you know, snakeskin scale design on this black portion of the upper undefeated logo. That gold with that blue is just muy bueno and you know even though this gold swoosh looks a little chubby i still like the gold of it so this is absolutely i mean it's an insta cop it is is it gonna be hard to cop absolutely all undefeated sneakers usually are but you know you gotta try like my man 50 cent said get rich or die trying and i'm trying to get rich not with cash, but with Kobe Bryant memorabilia. So I'm either going to get rich and cop these or I'm going to die trying. Which, not die, but, you know, fail on the sneakers app, which makes me feel dead inside. But you guys know the feeling. We've all struck out on the sneakers app. Am I right? Now, moving along. Oh, man. White and gold. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The hint of blue or aqua, whatever you want to call it, depending on how your eye sees this color. It's beautiful. Same design philosophy, just a little cleaner with the all-white upper and gold. It's absolutely beautiful. This as well is an Instacop. What else do you want me to say? I'm seeing a ton of cops in the chat, maybe one or two drops every now and then. My guy Warren Walker says cop, absolutely. Uh, we got Cruz24 in the chat saying cop. You know he's putting cop up there. You know he is. Oh, wait. No, he says drop. Excuse me. Uh, Dagars... I don't even know how to say that name, my, my guy. 11 says cop. Cruz says drop, even though he has 24 in his name. Very, very, very interesting. Daniel Kim says definitely cop. Now, is this a pack? No. You can buy each one separately for 180 bucks on August 27. Now, let's get a little more information on these. The undefeated Kobe 5 Pro Tro What If pays homage to the 12 teams that passed on Kobe Bryant during the 1996 NBA draft. One pair combines the team colors from 12 teams, while the second pair includes the colors of the franchise that made the trade, symbolizing the what if. Interesting. So this is a Hornets kind of inspired colorway with the aqua, right? They made the trade, okay? And then gold for the Lakers, I'm assuming. And then these, I mean, let's see here. What teams drafted? Uh, I know the Sixers gave up on him. So we got the Sixers, the Raptors, the Grizzlies, the Bucks, the Wolves, the Celtics, the Clippers, the Nets, Dallas, Indiana, Golden State, and Cleveland. Okay? So apparently there are 12 teams on this sneaker here. Wait. No, it's got to be a pack. That's that's a two-sneaker box, right? It's not for a buck 80, is it? Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. Um, let's see here. Okay, so Bucks, Celtics, yeah, okay, red for the Sixers. Okay, apparently there's 12 teams on here. And we can see that each side is a little bit different. You got a yellow tongue here, a green tongue here. You have blue on the back of the heel here and green here. So, yeah, okay, 12 teams that pass on him. Very interesting. Look at the back here. Air with the Kobe logo. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is just, mm, with the gold, metallic gold heel cup, that is absolutely beautiful. Here you can see the insoles. There are the 12 teams right there. Look at on the back here, it says Oakland. 
Interesting. Oh, it's all cities. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oakland. Not Golden State? Whatever. Who cares? All right, now, let me see if this uh, article has more information. August 27th at Undefeated Stores. They're not doing the quarantine thing. Maybe I'll go out to Undefeated for these. Maybe. It's going to be a long camp, though, and I just don't camp. I just don't camp. All right. Oh, well. Okay, so there you guys have it. Those are the five Kobe's that Nike has officially announced that will be dropping again if you're interested in these august 27th but we also have another undefeated sneaker here these are the hall of fame kobe 5 pro tros let me know what you guys think about this now this is 190 dollars the release date has not been confirmed for these but you know obviously kobe was going to make the hall of fame this year so this is a sneaker that's kind of honoring that what do you guys think about this now it's not your traditional Kobe colorway. You have this kind of um, gold upper, but it's more of a deeper gold. It, it, it's not as, you know, bright. It's it's almost kind of got a, a bronze look almost to it, a light bronze, but it, it's gold. You have purple hits, and then you have these crimson, hot pinkish, reddish hints as well. As you can see from the background, I love that color combo with the with the pink and the purple, so I'm loving these. The gold is throwing me off just a little bit, but I do appreciate it. To me, it's a cop. To me, it's a cop. I'm seeing a lot of cops in the chat. Draco says, drop. Josiah, our moderator, says, I'm copping these if I can hoop in. Very nice. Definitely hooping in them. Mama mentality. Uh, but Draco, I think, is the only one that's dropping these. Most people are copping these. Wicked Panda is dropping these as well. And John Polar is dropping these. But for the most part, everyone's saying cop. I'd say it's about 90% cop. Uh, it's a dope. I, I actually really like this colorway. I'm, I'm copping these for sure. I'm loving that air on the back. Again, Undefeated is absolutely killing these. Stick to the sneaker show for more updated uh, information regarding a release for this particular colorway. But as we know right now, no release date has been announced. All right. Now, this next Kobe sneaker. You might not have seen this. You might have seen this one and the ones that we talked about. But this next one, you might not have seen this particular colorway. And that colorway is a PJ Tucker PE, essentially, that will be releasing. Now, we've seen PJ Tucker wear unreleased Kobe 5s. He's got the plug at Nike. He's officially a Nike athlete, I believe. You know, he's not going to get a signature sneaker, but he's so big in the sneaker world that Nike hooked him up with a deal. So that that's good. Good for him. But uh, apparently, he will be releasing his own Kobe 5 Pro Tro, and this is the only photo that we have of it. Okay, so take a good look. Let me know if it's a cop or a drop. I'm just going to be honest here, okay? This, to me, Bruh. is a mega drop. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, li listen. I <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. I'm just being honest. Not a fan. Not a fan. A lot of patterns. The colorway isn't particularly bad i mean it's basically a hornet's colorway everyone likes that but then that outsole is not looking white it's looking off white it's looking peach even i don't know how that works the black swoosh is ruining everything if those panels were just clean and you had the checkered overlays that would have looked cool but the zebra Hey, shout out to Gabriel for subscribing and joining the mob. I appreciate you. Yeah, the two patterns. You guys know me. I'm not a fan of two patterns. You know what I mean? It's really hard to pull off. I just... I, PJ Tucker's a crazy guy. He's got a lot of swag. He's got a lot of style. But these just ain't it. As my guy Degar in the chat says, Mega drop. Big drop. Sharp Young, welcome back to the stream, my guy. Thanks for joining the show. He's copping them. He's a Kobe fan. He wants these. He's getting whatever he can. Sharp Young is copping. That's good, brother. Cop all you want. You're not getting. You're not getting in a competition with me because I'm dropping them. It is what it is. But there you guys have it. Shout out to Draco for subscribing. Thanks for joining, Mom, my guy. Um, but there you guys have it. That's all the Kobe news that I have for you. Um, now I, I do want to take a moment here to address the title of the video. 
which is please don't cop the Kobe 5 Pro Tro. Now, I'm not saying that to tell you guys to not cop so I can cop. I'm not saying that. That is specifically a message to the resellers. Listen, Yoke, a.k.a. Hiragana guy, in the chat with a super chat, 199, a hey, dog. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, my guy. You should see the notification popping up every time soon. There it is. There it is. Um, listen, resellers, it's a free country. That's what makes America great. You could do what you want. But sometimes ethics and manners, they're not logically sound. They don't make logic sense logically. Of course it makes sense to buy these and resell them for more and get yourself bread and keep chasing that American dream. But there's, a, there's ethics involved here. When Kobe died, so many people were hurt. I included. I'm sure many of you guys in the chat as well. It hurt us. And I'll be honest with you guys. That was the saddest day in my life. I've had the privilege of not really having any family deaths. I haven't had any family deaths. So Kobe dying was the closest thing I've had to a death in the family. That guy motivated me so much throughout my entire life. And as someone who grew up fatherless, I, I looked to Kobe to teach me a lot of things, even though I never met the guy. He taught me so much. I mean, when, when Kobe died, people that I hadn't heard from in years called me on that day, that Sunday. And they asked me how I was, if, if I was okay, because they knew how much Kobe meant to me. People I haven't heard in years. They called me, not text, not a DM, not a Facebook post. They called me. So people know how, how much Kobe meant to me. So for me, these sneakers, they're not just kicks that I'm going to wear. These are pieces of memorabilia. Bruh. Sorry for that. These are pieces of memorabilia that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. I want these to have that piece of that Mamba mentality, that a piece of memorabilia to remember Kobe by. So resellers, please do not, do not. Just this one is not for you. This one is for us. People like me who, who loved Kobe. That's, that's what this is for. This isn't a chance for you to make money. This is for us. This is for the Mamba mentality disciples. The people who live that Mamba mentality life. Not just say it. Preach it and practice it. Like me. Ask any one of my friends. I, I always tell them whenever they're going through hard times. Mamba mentality. And I share a story with them. Listen. This ain't for you guys. You might as well walk over Kobe's grave. If you're going to do that. Seriously. I know you're trying to make your money. And here's the sick truth guys. Here's the sick truth. No matter how much we plead, no matter how much we plead, resellers, please don't do this. There are still going to be people who are going to resell this sneaker. There are. It's simple. I can only hope Nike made enough pairs to give us the best opportunity to cop a pair for ourselves. I can only hope. But the sick truth is people are not going to care. There are going to be some people who don't care. They're going to buy these. They're going to resell them. And they're going to prey on people's nostalgia they're going to prey on people's feelings. They're going to prey on their sorrow. It is what it is. That's going to happen. But that's not going to stop me from begging you. Please leave this one alone. This ain't for you. This is for us. And um, I think this article here, um, I read, here we go. During Mamba Week, Nike will champion Kobe's legacy and the Mamba mentality uh, by providing a million dollar donation to the Mamba and Mamba Sita Sports Foundation. So, shout out to Liam for subscribing. This isn't about money. The better that these shoes sell, that has no effect on Nike. They're already donating a million dollars. This isn't like the Dornbecker release where the higher the hype is, the more money that goes to those kids who need it. Okay, the Dornbecker releases. You know what I'm talking about, right? This isn't like that. Nike's going to sell these for a buck 80. That's it. And they're going to be personally donating a million dollars regardless of how much this sneaker sells to the Mamba and Mamba CD, Mamba Cita Sports Foundation. Okay, so it, it, it isn't like get more hype to bring out Kobe's message. That's not what it is. So please, please, please. 
I mean, I'm getting sad just thinking about this. Shout out to Joy for subscribing. I'm getting sad just thinking about this. I miss Kobe so much. I mean, that was my guy. He was my muse. He was. He really was. And I, I could sit here and I could tell you guys all about it. I could tell you the stories about people calling me. I could tell you what Kobe meant to me the first time I watched Kobe Bryant ever and how special that day was and why it was special. I could tell this to you guys. I could. But it's just going to be me telling you. I know, I know what I've done. I know how I live my life. I know how I live my life. And my life was severely, severely affected directly from Kobe and the way he thought. So, I mean, please just leave this one alone. Just leave it alone. But let's move on here. Uh, let's talk about this. Now, these are the Kyrie Sevens. Okay, so these came across uh, Instagram a few days ago. And it's kind of interesting. I feel like the Kyrie Six kind of just dropped, but maybe the pandemic made it feel like yesterday or or whatever. I don't know. But it seems a little early to be looking at the Kyrie 7. But then again, we're already in the playoffs. And I guess that's when he would probably be rocking them. But who, anyways, here they are. Not much has changed, to be honest. I mean, from the, I mean, you could have told me this was the hybrid S3 or whatever. That hybrid line that Nike's got with Kyrie. And I would have believed you. I mean, it doesn't really look like the Kyrie 7. I mean, it looks like the Kyrie 6 with a different style strap on there. Okay, now let me know what you guys think about these copper drop. We're going to take a good look at them. Yeah, right there. Kyrie 7. All right. Articulated zoom, composite textile, and computational traction. Now, the traction right here. Again, let me know. Copper drop in the chat. And I'll get to you guys in a second. I'm really excited about this traction because... While you look at the heel, it is very compact and very typical to what we would see from a Kyrie signature line. And the Kyrie traction, for the most part, has been fantastic. The Kyrie uh, 5, I had one of the worst traction experiences ever. Some people said the opposite. I have footage of me sliding around in them, so <laughs> why would I lie? But the reason why I like this traction is because you look more towards the midfoot as well as the forefoot. The traction is really spaced out. So that means dust isn't going to get caught in between those grooves. You're going to have to wipe a little bit less with that spaced out traction. And the pattern looks good as well. You're going to get multi-directional uh, coverage. Hopefully the rubber compound is up to the task. It looks pretty tacky to me, but that's something that is impossible to tell through a 2D image. But if I had to bet, I think the traction is going to be pretty good on it. If I had to bet my life on it. You know, 50-50 chance, right? I'm going to bet it's pretty good. So I'm very excited about this. Now I'm seeing quite a bit of drops in the chat and then i'm seeing a lot of cops i would say it's 50 50 on these guys the mob is 50 50 on the Kyrie seven the materials remind me more of the Kyrie one which would mean that they're more on the cheaper side which isn't the greatest thing uh you're still having articulated zoom in the forefoot that that forefoot looks pretty beefy if you just look right here i mean it looks it looks pretty beefy. The heel cup doesn't look as robust. And the strap, I mean, we don't have a top-down view of the Kyrie 7. I wish we did to see how that strap is integrated because, look, here's the lateral side, right? The strap is attached. Do you see? Then we go to the medial side. It's still attached. So where do we unstrap it? You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not understanding this. It looks. It reminds me of these. Uh, what were they called? The Air Jordan 8.0s? It reminds me of that strap. Right here. Look at that strap. This reminds me of what's going on here in these limited photos. So I don't know. Maybe it's a new type of lacing system, a new mechanic for the strap. How does it look visually? I mean, I got to be honest. It kind of looks weird. So I'm going to, I mean, I'm dropping them. Not a huge fan. I'll probably, I don't know. I don't know. I would like to do a performance review on it, but again, it just doesn't look that much different from the Kyrie 6. And that's something that I don't really, I don't really enjoy. When you're going from signature sneaker to the next one and it looks the same or it looks like a, this actually looks like a playoff version of the Kyrie 6. 
You know what I mean? Like, you know how when they drop a playoff version of the signature sneaker and it's got slight upgrades to it, but it's pretty much the same shoe? That's what this looks like to me. And I'm seeing a lot of drop. Fishy Gang says a mega drop. Fishy Gang ain't really liking these. So, I mean, that just goes to show you. It's, it's a funky-looking shoe. And Kyrie's have never been great off the court, but this definitely isn't going to be seen off the court unless, of course, um, you just walked off the court. <laughs> All right, next up, this is an interesting shoe here. Paul George, uh, apparently, okay, so let's take a look at these. Tell me if it's a cop or a drop. I really like these. I think it's bright. I think they're vibrant. Uh, I like the merch that comes with it. I'll, I'll talk to why there's there's peppers and chilies here in a little bit. But, yeah, bright, vibrant colors. This isn't too crazy. You don't have a crazy pattern. It's just a clean gradient. Orange. And yellow, which is, the, which is the theme of game night. So you know I love that color combination. If you're not following Twitch TV dot, or Twitch uh, dot TV slash Dramon, I think it well, Twitch.com slash Dramon. <laughs> um, and then the midsole, or not the midsole, the swoosh has some texture here. I, I think these are clean. And then on the back, you have some Chinese characters. I, I really like these. The outsole is clean. The zipper, you unveil a nice pattern kind of a chili pepper camo i mean that is these are nice these are a cop not an insta cop but it's a cop the pg4 is a very comfortable sneaker full length nike air absolutely beautiful fake replays in the chat says drop but ethan says insta cop the colors are done right i agree with you ethan maybe not an insta cop but the colors are definitely done right now the inspiration behind this colorway apparently paul george's nickname in china Pickled pepper? What? What? Pickled pepper? Apparently due to the homophonic pronunciation of his name and the spicy pepper. I don't know what that means. Homophonic, I think, means um, it's another way to say like two different words with the same meaning. But is pickled pepper in Chinese Paul George? Is that what they're trying to say? Do we have anyone that speaks Chinese in the chat? Cantonese or Mandarin? Because I'm really confused. Paul George definitely doesn't mean pickled pepper in Chinese. I mean, come on now. But I, I'm, I'm just confused. However, I have to say, I love the provenance of the shoe. I mean, pickled pepper, Paul George, homophonic, yada, yada, yada. Great. I, I like the concept. I like the merch. I like the shoes. But I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, John, John says it's not pickled pepper. What does that mean? What, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> John says that he speaks Chinese, but nah. Yeah, see, I'm confused. I, I think Nike's reaching with that one. But um, a lot of you guys are saying cop in the chat. I say it's about 80% cop for the mob. All right, next up. Ooh. LeBron Soldier 14K Wow, uh, which we know is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We see that collection drop every year. Here are the LeBron Soldier 14s. Let me know what you think about these. We've talked about this silhouette before on the Sneaker Show, which, by the way, we have peaked at 386 concurrent viewers. <laughs> what? That's a high score, yo. That was easy. It wasn't really. Uh, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining the Sneaker Show. Here we got a simple black and pink color scheme. Usually we see white and pink, which is great. We all know KD has the best breast cancer awareness sneakers with his Aunt Pearl colorway. But these are pretty dope as well. I like the grid design here on this, you know, midsole TPU piece. I love the switch up of materials. You have kind of this carbon fiber looking woven upper. Then you have synthetic nubuck and then you have a neoprene. Uh, material over here on the top of the upper. I think these are pretty dope. Uh, is this the only photo we got? No, we got the KWOW logo right here on the medial heel. These are awesome. Black and pink. I think it's a cop. There it is. I think it's a cop. I think it's pretty clean. A lot of you guys are saying, let's see here. Ooh, it's pretty 50-50 here. Kind of a Venom colorway, Joy says in the chat. Yes, kind of a Venom colorway. If there was a little more white on this, it would kind of look like a Venom colorway. Absolutely. Good look, Joy. Uh, Mega Drop by Dagar. Really? You think that these are that bad? Maybe you don't rock pink. That's fine. But to me, it's pretty clean. A hey, shout out to Mr. 
Vissal. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining the sneaker show, my guy. Uh, no release information on these. Fall 2020 expected to release. But yeah, uh, pretty interesting. Now, on the topic of LeBron James, I can't wait for you guys to see this. Boy, oh boy, this, oh, and this is really interesting here. Okay, so check this out. Look at that. The new Toon Squad jersey. Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. Okay, so first thing I saw, the Nike swoosh on the Toon Squad jersey. So no Adidas, no Anta, no none of that, no Reebok, no... No New Balance. It's Nike. It, Toon Squad is sponsored by Nike. Shout out to Johnny J for subscribing. Thanks for joining the mob. What do you guys think about this new Toon Squad jersey? Now, let me bring up the old Toon Squad jersey. I have a Toon Squad jersey. My rec team was called the Goon Squad. So it was black. It was the Toon Squad jersey. It was this. And it just said Goon Squad. And it was black. Okay, so here's the Toon Squad jersey. The OG, the MJ one, and here's the new one. What do you guys think? Cop or drop on the Toon Squad jersey? I have to say, I like what they did here. I like the side design, but that whatever color that the main is, like the greenish blue, the light blue, whatever that color is, there's also a LeBron logo right there, which is very interesting. <laughs> Anyways, I... <sighs> I love Space Jam. I love Space Jam. I watch it all the time. It's one of my favorite movies. I will stand and I will die on this hill that Space Jam is a good movie. But is this a good jersey? <sighs> I like Space Jam. I want Space Jam 2 to come out. I got to drop it. I know. I know. I love Space Jam. It hurts me, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not 100% there. If it was white, yeah. That, why didn't they put white? It would have been updated enough, right? They have a new font. They have the side. It's more bold. But why is it that whatever color that is? And by the way, shout out to the special effect guys. I could see that that shade of blue or green kind of leaking on with the key over here in the background for the special effects. So, hey, shout out to them. Keep grinding. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not totally feeling it. I know it's not sneaker related, but I had to bring it up to you guys. I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Cruz24 says Instacop. Uh, we got a few cops, but most of you guys are, like, kind of 50-50 on it. Like, Sharp Young is 50-50. Mikel says drop. Uh, yeah, it is turquoise. Everyone teases me how I say turquoise. Turquoise? 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 I say turquoise. It's turquoise. Turquoise? Turquoise. Whatever. Uh yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm just going to I'm just going to leave that there. I thought it was very interesting. I, I remember like seeing this on my Facebook and I was like, "Yo, what the hell? New Space Jam jersey? I was all in." But yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's move on here. We had the Nike Air Penny 5 Orlando home colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this in the chat. Uh, it's pretty clean. A shout out to... Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to say that name. Uh, but thanks for joining the mob anyways. Uh, <laughs> I think someone just tried to catfish me. Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, Penny 5. Clean. White, blue, translucent blue outsole, slightly tinted blue. Uh, but look at the tongue pinstripes that's clean now they could have gone overboard with this right they could have done pinstripes across the whole sneaker but they didn't they left it on the tongue the one cent logo one of my favorite signature logos of all time I love this colorway it's a cop it's a cop it's beautiful if you're interested in this silhouette Penny Hardaway is your favorite player you're a magic fan or you just like this shoe it's a cop this is one of the cleaner colorways of this silhouette that we have seen Nike killed it with it. You don't have to go overboard, Nike. You see? A small little touch right there, and it makes the shoe. Absolutely. Now, when are these dropping? 160 bucks later this summer. Um, I'm seeing a few drops, but a lot of cops. Harry says mega drop. 
Ethan says Instacop. Uh, John Polar says that these are good for outdoors. Yeah, absolutely. This would be a solid, solid for outdoors. Fishy Gang says Mega, 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 Mega Cop. So you really like these. Yeah, it's an absolutely clean sneaker. Look at the back here. Part 2, Heaven Sent. The storm is over. That's awesome. This is nice. Black, black portions on the outsole. These are absolutely clean for sure. All right. Next sneaker. Woo, brand new signature sneaker alert. Yes, sir. We have the Jordan CP3 13. Let's take a look at these on feet. There's Chris Paul. Now, this is an interesting, interesting sneaker here. Whoa, we just peaked up to 422 concurrent viewers. If you're just joining us on the sneaker show, thank you so much. But you're going to want to watch the replay because I absolutely beg resellers not to buy the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro upcoming releases. You're not going to want to miss that. Right now, we're talking about the Jordan CP3 13. Oh, but we got to celebrate for uh, the 432 viewers right now. <laughs> Now, I was very shocked to see this sneaker because as we could see, there's a huge Nike swoosh on it, which is weird. It's a Jordan shoe, and the Jordan logo is there, but this design looks like a Nike swoosh. Very interesting. <sighs> so I'm just going to say I don't like this colorway. I like the white. I like the gum bottom. The gum bottom looks clean, and that traction looks absolutely beastly. Shout out to Albus B for subscribing. Um, I like the tongue design. Look at that. The tongue design is great. The pattern I'm not a huge fan of, and I don't want to judge the sneaker just on this one colorway because obviously it's a louder colorway. It's unique. There's obviously a theme going on here, probably inspired by golf and Tiger Woods. Who knows? I'm just not the biggest fan of it, okay? Um, but uh, that gum bottom is clean. The swoosh design is it's just weird to me. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to give these a soft drop, a soft drop. A different colorway can change my mind. The CP3 line has been a solid encore performer, but it is interesting that Chris Paul keeps getting signature sneakers. You know, I mean, he's he's a great player. He's awesome. He's an all NBA player this season, but he just doesn't make waves like he used to. But I'm happy for him. I'm definitely happy for him. But really, where's the State Farm special edition colorway? Where's this, where is that? A lot of you guys are saying cop in the chat, so a lot of you guys like these. I'm seeing a, a few drops in the chat, so that's very interesting. But um, we only have a few angles of these, okay? So I can't really talk too much about it. I do think it's interesting, that swoosh design, but I just did want to bring these up to you guys. Look at that traction. Ooh-wee. That traction looks responsive as hell. But, yeah, um, the materials... Doesn't look very breathable. You know, these, again, are just my first impressions. I like the heel design where the heel kind of lifts off here. You have that floating design here, and then it wraps around the, the back. I, I, re I really like that. But, yeah, I'm going to have to wait to see more colorways on these um, before I make my final judgment. But I did want to bring these up to you guys, so make sure you stay tuned and, and subscribe. So when we see more colorways of this, we can give a better evaluation for the CP3-13. All right, next up, we have the Air Jordan 12 Dark Concord. Let me know what you guys think about these in the chat. Is it a cop or a drop? Uh, it's basically a black and dark Concord colorway. Um, as a Laker fan, you could I could lie to myself and say that this is a Lakers-inspired colorway, right, uh, in a way. But, I mean, it's clean, but I've said it on the show before. If it ain't OG, it don't really mean a thing to me. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these, Okay. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. Oh, ooh, Drabo says a mega drop, but Josiah says low-key cop. Yeah, if you like purple, I think these are vicious. These are clean. I mean, I, I like the way they look. It's just, am I going to spend $190 on October 17th for that? No, I'd rather save my money for an OG Jordan, some more Kobe's. I'd rather save that money towards another pair of Yeezys than these. That's just me, okay? So... I'm seeing someone say Lakers are going to lose to the Blazers. Bruh, no. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. But yeah, okay. So I, I'm seeing I'm seeing mostly drop on these in the chat, but I got a few cops like my guy, Josiah, who again, thanks for moderating my guy. I really appreciate it. All right, next up. Ah, let's see. Okay, let's talk about this. 
The Air Jordan 11 25th anniversary features special packaging. Now, when I saw this, I thought, okay, no one's going to care about this except us, right? People who collect sneakers. And then I go, well, what does a new box look like? It doesn't look that different. It doesn't, right? Here's the, here I have an, a Jordan 11 box here. This one has been being used for years, okay? Let me, uh, let me bring it full screen. All right, so classic box. You have the two, three right here, right? Right on the bottom. Uh, you have the Jordan language right here. And then on the side, it has like the patent leather, right? Exactly. And then it's it's a pull-out box, right? So you just pull it out, right? And you have my 06 Space Jams in here, right? Let me put these to the side. But in the box, you had this, right? With the 11, right? To cover the shoes, okay? that's This has been used for years. It's been used for years, okay? This is the new box. It looks different but is it still a pullout box or is it like you lift it up or what I, I don't know i don't know what's going on here but i will say that this box looks worse the pan leather on the side is iconic yo the jump man on the side right here is iconic then they changed it i don't i don't i'm not liking it i'm not liking it i don't like it one bit it looks like a pull-up top box you know what i mean it's hard to say because i'm not i don't have the box but the more and more i see the 25th anniversary Jordan 11s, the more I like them. So in terms of the sneaker, I think it's a cop. I think it's a cop for sure. Uh, I got to show you guys the, the photo here. Yeah, these are, the more and more I see these, these are looking absolutely clean. So it's a cop for me. But yeah, interesting news, new box for the Jordan 11. All right, next up. Okay, here we got uh, the Puma RS Dreamer in the blood, sweat, and tears colorway which is basically uh, just a red and white colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these. We obviously have talked about the Puma RS Dreamer in a black colorway with multiple colors on it as well. These are red, white. You guys know me. I'm wearing a red shirt right now. My favorite color is red. And my high school was red and white. So this is, you know, hits close to home. I think I'd rather have this colorway than the launch colorway, the black one with the multiple colors. Um, but I do think the other colorway is the better colorway. It's just for me, this this has a little bit more personal, you know, nostalgia for me because it, it's my high school color. Shout out to Jay Lloyd for subscribing. Lloyd with two L's. La Lloyd. Uh, these are only 125 bucks. Puma makes some great encore performers. August 17th, exclusively at Foot Locker and Puma.com. I might have to pick these up to see what they're about. I love the materials. You have, looks like faux premium materials, breathable mesh. I think these look, Nice. I would rock these off the court. I would. These are these are clean. And I like the dreamer on the back as well. I like look at the traction. Very interesting traction there. Yeah, I like Puma. I'm all in on Puma. Shout out to SBG 300 for subscribing. Uh I think these are a cop for me. It's a cop. Uh what are you guys saying in the chat? Uh Cruise24 says Insta Cop. Uh let's see. Gene John says cop. Uh, Josiah says, looks orange to him. Really? It looks orange to you. Looks red on my screen. Maybe, maybe it's your screen. Who knows? Uh, Josiah also says, IDK, the shoe itself looks like a beast on the court though. Yeah, absolutely. John says cop, but we got a few drops. Harry says drop. Cedric says drop. Um, look at a book 25. If it's even a decent encore performer, that's a pretty good deal, especially considering the fact that a musician in J. Cole, you know, apparently designed this sneaker. So a huge shout out to him. All right, next up. What do we got here? Ah. Adidas Prada collaboration. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about these, but the reason why I brought these up uh, <laughs> is because what sneaker does this look like, guys? I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves. What sneaker does this look like? I'm not going to show you the sneaker. I want you guys to tell me what sneaker does this look like in the chat right now? Let me know. So it's an all white colorway, but you got translucent, translucent features all across it. 
you have a little bit of red on the back with Prada. These are going to be so expensive because you're paying for the name Prada. I mean, you are. And no, I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, my God. Sean Pantig in the chat. He got it right. Sean, you got it right. Don't these look like the Converse All-Star Pro BB Evo? Look it. Right here. Uh, these ones. I wish it was in white, but we, it's not in white. Look at this. And look at that. What? That's the same sneaker. A, a spam Sean for getting that correct in the chat. I'll do it with you guys. <laughs> Hashtag Sean. Uh, yo. Adidas, you thought you could... You thought you were slick, boy? You thought you were slick? You thought you could bite off me? I I'm pretending to be Converse right now. You thought you were slick, boy? Nah, bruh. Nah. You can't get away with this one. You can't get away with this one. That looks just like the Converse All-Star Pro BB. Don't you think so? And Malik says it perfectly. You know it's going to be a $400 price tag. Yeah. Uh-uh. Nah. Listen, bruh. It's not a bad looking sneaker, but the fact that they're going to be hella expensive and the fact that they bite off Converse is going to make these Bruh. a mega drop. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right. Hey, shout out to Sean for getting that correct, my guy. You're an OG. All right. Next up, we have another Adidas sneaker. Now, we've seen Ninja and Adidas make sneakers before to a somewhat underwhelming uh, success, but... I remember telling you guys on an early episode of, of the sneaker show, I love that Ninja got his own sneaker. I do. I'm all for esports. I think it's killer. I think it's awesome. I want esports to thrive. I want streamers to thrive. I think it's awesome. Because when I was growing up, playing video games was a kid thing. And then if you were an adult playing video games, it was frowned upon. It was like, you're playing video games. But now times have changed. And, and obviously, people's opinions on it are different. But I just love how serious people are taking esports. I love how esports is serious about themselves. They're all in. They're like, we're athletes. Even though I, I don't think they're the same as like an NBA athlete or anything like that. Which I've heard Ninja say that there's no difference. I disagree with you there, brother, but I'm so glad that you got your own sneaker. I think that's awesome. I think we, I want to see more uh, brand uh, partnerships with, uh, you know, esports athletes and streamers. I think this is killer. And this this particular sneaker actually is pretty cool. I mean, it's got a nice shade of blue. You have nice hints of red. You have time in, which I'm assuming is something to do with uh, Ninja Stream there. White boost. I mean, these are clean. These are absolutely clean. I, I really, really like these. I mean, I have no other reason to say drop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call these a cop. It's a cop. And if you're a ninja fan, um, you got to insta-cop these. Or if you're like me and you just want to support streamers and esports and you want that industry to thrive, it's a cop. I, I think these are clean. No harm done here. These are awesome. Uh, when are these dropping? 150 bucks, fall 2020. Decent price. It's called the Ninja Adidas ZX 2K Boost Time In. Nothing more to say. Awesome. Good to see it. All right. Next up, we have Ivy Park uh, Night Jogger collab. Now, I like the Night Jogger silhouette. I'm still ready for the waiting for the right colorway of the Night Jogger, but I love it. You guys know I love 3M. This sneaker is it's called the Night Jogger because it has 3M. So if you're jogging in the night, even though it's not strictly a performance sneaker, if you're walking around at night <laughs> rocking these, the 3M will light up. Now, Ivy Park is Beyonce's um, brand, right? And she did a, a partnership with Adidas. Usually, it's it's women's you know, apparel and, and, and shoes, but I do think there were some men's shoes of Ivy Park and I, I mean, I don't want to uh, gender identify this particular individual <laughs> um, that's modeling these shoes. But if I had to guess, don't they look like these ankles might be from uh, uh, that of a, a male? I don't want to get in trouble here. I'm just I'm just saying what I'm seeing. I could be wrong. I'm wrong all the time. 
But I, th- I think these are a men's sneaker. I think. Now, a lot of you guys are saying drop in the chat. <sighs> I'm going to have to disagree. It's a cop for me. I like them. I don't know what else to say. Volt, green, clean. I'm taking off the tag, no doubt. Might not be a fan of the of these coiled laces on the heel, but I like the night jogger, and I like these colors. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to disagree here. Most of you guys are saying drop. There are a few cops. Like Melvin Jefferson says cop. My guy Sharp says cop. Uh, Harry says cop. Okay. Yeah, see, John, John I, I agree. The, the, the tag is a lot. I'm not going to be rocking the tag. It's going to be dragging all over the place. I'm not going to rock the tag. I might clip the tag on like a duffel bag or something like that or a suitcase, but I'm not rocking them with the shoes. But I think the shoes are clean. What, what do you want me to say? And you can see here Ivy Park is probably in 3M right here, which is, which is a nice little touch. There's some other looks of it. But, yeah, I, I don't think the, these are ad bad as some of you guys are – are saying now here the guy took the tag off okay the guy took the tag off so it looks a little bit better i don't know what else to say i I like them i'm gonna disagree with the mob on this one all right last but not least oh For the second time in a row, I'm speechless. Last week, we talked about the D. Rose. Remember? The D. Rose. Uh, uh, Yeezys. Look at this. We talked about these. Oh, my God. I laugh every time I see these. I laugh every time I see these. And I was speechless. But when I gathered my words, I, I appreciated that Yeezy was doing something different. Even though I probably want to rock these. I appreciate that he was pushing the envelope. So you could say the same here. But no. I'm not copping these. I'm dropping these. These are a mega drop. Listen, if you rock these, if I saw someone on the street rock these, I'd be like, whoa, you're rocking those. That's crazy. And I'd almost have to respect you for rocking them because that just looks like an absolute chore. It looks like a snowboard boot. That looks like a snowboard boot. But look at the traction, though. Look at that traction, though. Killer. Killer. That is durable as hell. That's a solid outdoor option. I might have to remake my best outdoor hoop shoes of 2020 when this sneaker drops. Because look at that traction. Deep, durable, hella good traction, yo. Ankle support through the roof, yo. Durability, that overlay, you're not messing these up. Flexibility and breathability might not be the best. If there's boost, solid cushion. This low key might be a solid encore performer, guys. I I said what I said. I said what I said. What are you going to argue? Does that traction not look durable? Does that ankle support not look vicious? Huh? Weight ventilation might be a question mark, but everything else is there for a good encore performer. I said what I said. Uh, but yeah, um, in terms of an off-court option, <laughs> no, no, not liking these. But again, I do appreciate Yeezy pushing the envelope. Who knows? In 2050, when I'm an old man, uh, these might be all the rage. These might be what all the kids are wearing. And, you know, Yeezy would have been 30 years ahead of its time. But a lot of you guys are are pretty much on the same page as me. It's a mega, mega drop. Um Anyways, guys, I don't know how long we went. Oh, well, we're right at the 50 minute or hour mark, so perfect. Um, that pretty much concludes today's episode of the Sneaker Show. Tremendous, uh, tremendous audience today. Thank you to everyone in the chat. We peaked. I think we got a high score today. So once again, give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, Jerron Mob. Remember, we are doing new episodes of The Sneaker Show every single Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific. 
Uh, we have NBA Kicks, and I also got a special unboxing coming to the channel, as well as a performance review as well. I've been able to get into the gym and test out a couple shoes for you guys. It's a secret gym. Please don't tell anyone and blow up my spot. But um, uh, good stuff coming to the channel has been uh, very hectic. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff with the NBA. I just want to thank everyone who supported the channel uh, the past couple of weeks. I appreciate you guys so much. If you could do me a favor and please just drop a like on this video. That would help me out a lot. Um, it would help you guys out a lot too. You guys will look like some OGs that were ahead of the curve on the sneaker show for when this show eventually blows up. All of you guys in the chat right now are going to be like, hey, but uh, I was here. I'm, I'm a founder. I'm a founding father of the sneaker show I'm, I'm an original member of the Jerron mob certified so please drop this video a like comment on it as well again that helps me out a lot i'll see you guys next week 7 p.m it's a date it's a date guys yes john new record guys i appreciate you guys couldn't have done it without you uh have a good day guys stay safe stay safe out there i know it's really hot stay cool stay safe my name is jaron is we're having you catch you guys in the next one peace